Welcome back to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077 with me, Jerupidus, and we are right in the middle of unraveling the mystery of what was going on with the paralysis. They had an intruder, and the husband passed out, and it turns out that basically their security company is using technology to manipulate their minds and literally brainwash them by controlling their thoughts. And that is, of course, very bad. So we're going to meet with Elizabeth to tell her what we found. Uh, we're going to meet with her at this ramen shop. Uh, oh, I did the follow the cables thing again. It, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. It keeps selecting it, and maybe I did some things out of order, but it's just kind of glitchy. really wants me to follow those cables, but we've we've moved past it at this point. So let's go tell Elizabeth what we learned. I'm ready. You ready? Hey. Come back, please. Oh, it just keeps doing that. I'm ready. Will you sit? Please. Thank you for coming. Uh, why are we meeting here instead of at your apartment? Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. She is... maybe responsible for this? So did something happen? It wasn't that long ago since we last met. Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? All right, no rush. Relax, no need to rush. Ah. Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious, and not just with Jeff. Did you notice any changes in yourself? Because I did. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So you knew what I was going to find, though. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they are changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. I would, too. It reminds me of an episode of Doctor Who, actually, where there's, like, this room in the house, but because of a psycho-dampening field, and people don't know thoughts? it's there. Anyway, so have you talked to Jeff? Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? Yeah, it's like, are they saying stuff 
that was implanted in them, or are they saying stuff that was erased from me? And is there actually a difference there? D, are you still with me? Wild. Okay, so is that it, or is there anything else? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. And got nothing out of it? Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. Uh, did they threaten you? They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. Oh, man. Was she lying the whole time? I guess so. Let's say that. For your thoughts? You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz. I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. You wanted everything just to go on and flow on because it was convenient. Convenient? You got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like living like this. I mean, it could be you're just saying what you've been programmed to say. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... It's destroy him. I, yeah, I mean, I feel like we've got to tell him whether it's a danger to his life or not. He, he has to, he, he has to know this. V, are you still with me? So you really want to keep living a lie? Jefferson ought to know. Damn it, Elizabeth. You're gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Uh, what if I'm just not on board? And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. And you're really prepared to fire SSI? Truly prepared to fire SSI. After the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Pa! Oh, thanks fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. Uh, I don't think they're entirely different, to be honest. Uh, so what would you have done? So, 
In my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. It is. So we have to decide what we want to do about this. So let's think about it while we're on the way. The deal that she's offering us does seem like a very reasonable compromise, right? Like, she's going to fire SSI, she's going to get them out of her house, and basically end the mental manipulation. All she's asking us to do is not let Jefferson know precisely what it was, so that he doesn't end up getting himself in trouble by going after these people. Now, I do feel like if something like this happened to me, I would want someone to tell me what was going on. But, if somebody knew I was an idiot and would get myself in trouble by going after the people that had done this to me, I guess I would want someone to respect their wishes on that. And not tell me, because me getting myself killed means I don't end up being, you know, the mayor and upholding my ideals. So basically the question is, do we protect Jefferson? And do what probably amounts to the most good? Or do we tell him basically to feel good about our part in it? It's a very difficult question, but I'm kind of feeling like... I, I was immediately feeling like she wants to basically not have her hands tied and, and have him find out that she sort of lied about it and is really doing it to protect herself. But her reasoning, by the end of it, I'm like, I actually feel like taking her up on that. Which I really wasn't expecting to. I was immediately feeling like we just got to tell him, no questions asked, like, come on, how can you not tell someone about this? But based on reading the things that he has to say and interacting with him, I do think that he's a pretty reasonable candidate for mayor. Is everyone running away from me? Is this because I double jumped? Good lord. What a silly game this is at times. <laughs> so I guess I feel like I've decided that what I want to do is not tell him and go along with what the wife wants. I think that's the best way to play this. Oh my god, it's taking me to follow the cables. That's so frustrating. I've been running the wrong way this whole time. Okay, well, let's get to a fast travel point. But dear lord, is that follow the cables thing frustrating. Here I am trying to take a, you know, decision in this game seriously. And, of course, the game is leading me the wrong way. Obviously, I would have gotten that uh, if I, I... I would have noticed that if I was paying more attention. But I'm trying to think very hard and carefully about how I want to make this decision. If only I had followed those cables. <laughs> So I think I've come to my conclusion about this. It is still, though, very tempting to just tell him and let the chips fall where they may. Unknown number. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. Uh, what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you are. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Oh, fuck. Peters into the most sensitive and hallowed. Blue uses the line. 
Who are these people? I do not take kindly to threats. I think Johnny's right. We gotta take these people down. But hopefully we can do that of our own accord and maybe leave Jefferson out of it. I'm hoping that that's what we can do. Hello, V. Uh, we need to talk. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. Oh, now that I'm to the decision, I'm... I'm feeling so weird, but yeah. V? I don't have much to add to that. Strange as it may sound, don't got much. There's gotta be something. You didn't find any hard evidence? Yeah, let's go along with what the wife says. SSI was taking money from Holt. Sorry, it's all hearsay and speculation. Like what? SSI took money from all kinds of people. Holt among them. But it's a weak lead. Uh, too weak. Nothing that can help you, Jefferson. Damn. All right. I'll handle things from here. Meaning? First, I'm gonna win this damn election. Then, I'll find the motherfucker who spied on us. And if it was Holt... I'll find every last speck of dirt on him and bury him under the heap. Well then, good luck. You'll get your fee soon. You already got my gratitude. Goodbye, V. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who or what. Our guys outmatched. They can do whatever they want. He's fucked, V. Yeah, it doesn't look good. But maybe at some point we'll be able to stop them. All right, that was crazy. And cool. All right, stupid car, let's go buy it. 32,000. Why not? Go ahead and check it off. Oh, it's one of those, like, Militech trucks. Cool. All right. Got that out of the way. And what else is around here? There is an Undiscovered right over here. So why don't we circle back and grab that? And then we're right near Hanako. I feel like we should just go meet her after that. You know what? Why am I leaving my car behind? <laughs> Why don't we just take it? Is this one of those songs that maybe Grimes wrote for this game? I feel like I heard something like that. It sounds like her, anyway. <laughs> Just actually run over someone's entire car. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, it's Dino. There you go. Yet another media killed herself. Screen sheets are saying it was work-related stress. But our folks are calling foul play. Gun. So, think you can pick something up? Got more deeds attached. All right, let's check it out. Instead of just walking right in there. So thievery, steal the CCTV footage. Something's rotten in the city of dreams, a series of suicides, a rash of self-destruction. The contagion mostly targets politicians, corpos, journalists, and police officers. 
The latest victim was Zola Barnes, a journalist who fell onto the tracks of Memorial Park Station. Her death was officially ruled a suicide, but Barnes' parents say that she went to meet she went to meet one her informants at the station and that she never would have taken her own life. I know, I know, that's what all parents say. That is what all parents say. Uh, seems like the jury's still out. Nobody really knows what happened because every last shred of CCTV footage was wiped clean. Her parents tracked down the witnesses, but they didn't want to talk, and what's more, Militech took a keen interest in the whole thing. It's our turn to make heads or tails of this. Head to the station, breach the servers, and download any CCTV-related files. I'll have my code monkeys try to recover the deleted footage. P.S. Oh, and by the way, at the time, Zola was working on a piece about Brad Norwood, a Militech fanboy in the Night City Council. Anyway, looks like that piece is never getting published. P.P.S. Transferring you Militech authorization that'll get you into the station. Okay. So am I cool now? Nope. All right, let's figure something else out. All right, that guy's gonna patrol away. So let's hit him with a distract. I feel like that's it right there. Can I just... Nope. How am I going to get past this one? Okay. Okay. Well, this is all very convenient. Can I just... Let's give that a read once we get to a better spot here. Area secure. Uh okay. Let me let me find it. Right, here we go. Uh order forty four twelve elimination. We have Edith Kutaga in custody awaiting further orders. Uh, do you confirm she was wearing a listening device? Uh, Sergeant confirmed. Major understood. Eliminate Edith Kutaga for terrorist activity motivated by anti-corporate and anti-capitalist ideologies and copy that. So yeah, they definitely killed her. Yep, we'll just keep on sneaking. Uh, that guy's kind of a pain. I wonder if I can just sneak straight across his line of sight. So just come out. Let's do it. Yep. No problem there. Oh, 
Okay, I just wanted to listen to their conversation. That guy is in a very inconvenient location. Okay, he's gonna patrol away. Perfect. My only question is, that door is transparent and there seem to be a bunch of them out there. Oh. So we'll drop that guy. No real place to hide his body, so... I say we just keep going. Filthy scum! No more! Please stop! You got blood on my shoes! I'm so... Wait, please. I, I, I didn't see or hear nothing, I swear. Uh, why was he beating you? Why was he beating on you? Because he's a fucking psycho like all the rest of them. Thank Christ you came. Taught him a lesson. And what did you get canned for? Nothing. I, w I was set up. Uh, how many more are there? How many more in here? Two, three? Think carefully. I, I, I don't know. I, they all look the fucking same. There's one downstairs. I know that. Good. Cell's open. Do what you want. Uh, okay. All right, see you later. <laughs> oh, what's seeing me? I don't even know. Okay, that was weird. Ah, here we go. Get this camera turned off. I'm starting to get a little nervous because this is going pretty well so far. All right, now he said there's one more down here. There he is. All right, access token is nice. And let's read this message. Uh, 20 pounds, Matapang Sin Coffee, five packs biodine implant cleaner, one wide format screen adopted to receive signals from Kuroshi. Okay. Not sure why I care about that. Ooh. Increases crit chance by 15% and an empty slot. That's sweet. Okay, let's grab that footage. And let's see what we can see on here. All right, got the data, no time to lose, Delta. We can read that in just a sec. Uh, open invitation to tender from Night City Council. Uh, construction completion of the Pacifica end cart station. Um, so Night City Council is announcing an open invitation to tender for the completion of construction of end cart station C11, AKA Pacifica. The tender shall be two-tiered with the assessment criteria proportionally composed of the following. Cost of the subject of the contract, preliminary project evaluation, architectural design 1%, preliminary project evaluation technology to be used 4%. The deadline to complete the project is 240 days from the date of the signed contract. The deadline for submission of tenders shall be on 7-18-2078 at 11 p.m. Okay. So nothing too interesting there. Whoops. I do want to hit those access points on the way back out of here, though. And I wonder if there's anyone else in here that I can maybe rescue from Militech. Drop this guy. Resuming operations, let's read that. Hey, we're reopening Memorial Park. Our teams have cleaned up what was left of that journalist. Looks like the train dragged her pretty far. You can start letting people in again, okay? What a grisly murder they committed.
Oh, I mean, I guess we're done then. All right, it's Dino. Fuck me. I mean, woo, had me on the edge of my fucking seat. Luckily, it's all over. You handled it like a true profesh. I got the data, and you're in the clear. Closing the gig. All right, cool. Moving on, let's go meet up with Hanako now. We are high alert! He's here, somewhere! <laughs> oh boy. He's wounded! All right, why did I do this? <laughs> Mostly just to hear the combat theme. Oh, I've done something truly terrible. Yep, let's just get out of there. <laughs> Oh no, my car. Well, looks like we're hoofing it. I kind of thought I'd be able to just take out those last three guys real quick on my way out, and that turned into a complete nightmare. So we are moving on and not getting ourselves killed in there. All right, and I don't think Embers is very far from here. Yeah, it's not. All right, let's try calling the car again now. Hopefully it won't be trapped in the uh, side of the road like it was before. But I'm glad I decided to start doing dumb things when the job was already completed. Because had I done something stupid like that on the way in, that would have been way more difficult than it really needed to be. And uh, I'm very interested in seeing what Hanako has to say. Um, I don't completely trust this situation, where like I feel like she had a very sudden change of heart. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Oh boy. I almost don't want to turn this way, but the other way looks blocked. Just because I don't want to get shot by the cops again. Okay. Let's just go ahead and uh, head there on foot from here. Um, but what I was going to say is I don't really trust this situation. Like, she had a very sudden change of heart, and I'm not really sure why that is. We'd never successfully completely ruled out the idea that she might actually be fine with what uh, Yorinobu has done. Like, we're assuming that she's going to be on our side in all of this, and that what Yorinobu has done is wrong. What even... <laughs> Whatever. And I'm, I'm hoping that's true, but we don't know that that's true. Point of no return. You've reached point of no return. When you enter the restaurant, you'll be locked out of all unfinished side jobs and other activities like gigs until your main jobs are complete. If you have any unfinished business, settle it before meeting with Hanako. Ha. Huh. All right. Well, I guess we're not doing this right now, because I'm super not done doing other things. Like, we still haven't met with Judy? Okay. Well, we are actually getting pretty close to finishing these, though. Oh, and we never did this one, but it was in there. Okay, cool. Let's go finish this one.
And there's a tarot card? We haven't seen one of those in a long time. Okay. We're definitely doing that. I certainly don't... I am not ready to uh, hit a point of no return yet. I will say that it is very tantalizing that sort of the end run of the game is that close. I'm very, very interested, but I, I still just want to do a lot more stuff here. So what do we got here? All right, just some uh, sunken treasure. Didn't look like anything particularly good. But I remember seeing that one and not being able to find it on the map to finish up. Okay, is there anything nearby? Yep, this tarot card, I wanna hit that. That is quite the roundabout way they want me to take to that. And once we get this one, we can uh, open our tarot card collection and see how close we are on that. But it does look like we're going to have to take kind of a roundabout way to get there. But it occurs to me that if Hanako... If that storyline is the end of the game, then it's pretty likely that she does, in fact, side with us. All right, let's go to our tarot card collection. How many do we have left? Three? We're getting there. Oh, wait. 19 of 20. It says there. My collection is missing three, though. Thought I remember there being one way up here. Now I kind of want to go get it, because if it says 19 of 20... Yeah, let's do that. I got nothing better to do. And maybe there will be some things to do along the way, but I'm not... 100% sure on that. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it, but we've never been up here before, so let's go do it. I mean, if to complete the Fool on the Hill thing, I only need the one more, I really want to just go get that done. Alright, nothing really of note happened on the drive here, so we're just going to kind of cut to here when we're lots closer. And I'm not real sure where we are. This looks like an oil field of some kind. And it looks like it's going to be up on that. All right, now we just got to go talk to Misty. It's been a while since we've talked to Misty, so I'd be interested in doing that. see here. Yeah, there's nothing really out here, but there is a fast travel point, which is nice. So I think we're just going to hit that. And we'll see what Misty has to say about all this. It's been such a long time since we've been back here. 
I saw more of those freaky murals. Did they start making sense? Tell any sort of story? Uh, they're all tarot cards. All just a bunch of tarot cards. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my brain's now beyond repair. The tarot tells the story of a fool's journey. Show me what you found. I'll tell you what's left. Here. Hmm. You're still missing two arcana. Judgment and the devil. My guess is that they relate to a turning point in your life. One that's soon to arrive. Alright, tell me more about this fool's journey. What's up with the wandering fool? The fool is you and Silverhand. You've traveled a long road together. Discovered your potential. And where are we headed? Your destination is the world. The final Arcanum. Both of you waged a war on the world. So there are two possibilities. Declare victory, or make peace. Could lose the war, too. Yes. Unfortunately, that's true. Okay, and the devil doesn't sound good. Rather not run into the devil. Got a feeling he's bad vibes. That's the card of primal dormant desires, but also the will to survive. Hmm, doesn't sound so bad, actually. It also represents a false world. The trap these desires lay for you. Interesting. And what's judgment represent? What's this judgment about? One possible future of redemption, transition, awakening. The angel with the trumpet symbolizes the end of an era and the call to rebirth, to a new beginning. All right, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Didn't get much of that, but thanks. You'll understand when the time comes. I can't explain everything. All the tarot can tell me is that you will reach the world by one of four paths. Meaning? The final leg of the journey goes through the sun, the star, temperance, or the devil. Could just die. Not even get that far. <laughs> oh, come on. You won't let that happen. Take this. It's all I can do to help. All right, what is it? Good luck, V. On whatever road you choose. Okay, that's all done, but I am noticing that exclamation point right near me. So why don't we check that out? Uh, is there a way I can... Yeah, let's grab it. It's like literally right here. Is it below? It must be below. Uh, we'll talk to her in a sec. I want to figure out where... Ah, uh, it's him again. Leaders, but they are not human, no. But then what, you ask? Reptilians! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! Uh, you're right, I've met politicians. Not surprising. I've met politicians. Two-faced is right. Hear him! The faces! You have seen the reptilian faces? Maybe. They weren't human, that's for sure. And where did this filth slither out from, you ask? Antarctica, you said that already. Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced, intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! Right, I think I've heard him say that before. Is I that it? You. you come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? Yep, let's give him a hundred dollars again. You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. 
I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. We just keep giving this moron our money. Radio waves bear the truth. But it looks like that's all done. Um, I'm really feeling like meeting up with Judy. That's what I'm feeling. So let's pull that up. Oh, we still have to do the street races too. Yep, let's pick that one out. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes. And we'll head that way, but I'm feeling like I'm all out of time for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.